Hi there, welcome to what's happening in Brazil. Let's start with the latest news from the country. On December 10th, a survey ordered by the magazine Exame and conducted by the consultancy company IDEA indicated Lula with a bigger percentage in the first round. The results pointed out that Lula would win the elections against any adversary in the second round. Lula has a total of 37% of the votes, while Bolsonaro has 27%. They are followed by Moro, with 10%. On December 8th, a survey conducted by Quaeste and ordered by the brokerage house Genial Investimentos showed that Lula has 42.6% of the voting intention, overcoming Bolsonaro, who has 24.2%, Moro with 4.5%. When looking to the valid votes, the Workers' Party candidate has 50.6%. The presidential elections in Brazil will be in October 2022. Almost a year after the beginning of the vaccination campaign, Brazil's health ministry still wasn't able to complete even the immunization of health of the 775,000 people living in indigenous areas, although they are one of the priority groups. Only 44% of them received two doses of the vaccine against COVID, according to a survey conducted by Reporter Brasil, based on the indigenous vaccination monitoring. The rate of vaccine application is slower than that of the general population, as 65% of Brazilians are completely vaccinated, according to the press consortium, and 9% received the booster dose. According to indigenous leaders, organizations, and experts, The low rate of immunization of indigenous people is due to fake news, the influence of evangelical churches in indigenous lands, and the anti-vax speeches of President Jair Bolsonaro. In Pernambuco State, an itchness and skin lesion break reached almost 400 people from the coast to the semi-arid region. Health experts and state and local administrations are investigating to find a diagnosis. See more in the story of the week. It was quite weird, because it started all of a sudden. Unexpectedly, I started to scratch my skin, it burned, and I thought, oh God, what's happening? Just like Ivan, 367 people were contaminated by a skin lesion break in 15 cities from Pernambuco's coast to its semi-arid region. Having symptoms as itchiness and redness, the residents are afraid because there is still no conclusive diagnosis to what is causing the break. I tried to find an explanation for it. I checked my mattress to see if it had something, you know. I have a dog and stuff. In my house, I was the only one having those symptoms but I hadn't had contact with anyone besides my girlfriend. Lately, I haven't been out of my house much. It lasted more or less seven days. The symptoms ended after eight or nine days. One of the hypotheses health experts have been talking about is of a resistant scabies, also known as the seven-year itch. In a paper published in August, a group of researchers from Alagoas State warned that increasing the use of ivermectin by 800% last year may be the cause of the scabies break. Ivermectin is an antiparasitic and antimicrobial drug. Therefore, that's what happens. Every time people excessively use an antimicrobial drug, it increases the chance of the pathogen getting resistant. Excessive consumption, which means people using ivermectin repeatedly higher doses of the drug than usual, people try at higher doses of ivermectin than usual to combat COVID, increase in poverty, intrinsic problems related to education, sanitary difficulties and confinement of more than four people in the same place. So, we made a research for the future, but we realized that, hey, this is a time bomb. The research analyzes the relationship between the use of ivermectin and cases of scabies in the last 30 years, beginning with the arrival of the medicine in the country. The study was published intending to warn people about the possible consequences of the indiscriminate use of the drug. If the scabies hypothesis hypothesis is not confirmed, the article will finally serve as a warning. All this can happen, or maybe it is already happening. It can happen next month or in a few months, but for now, I believe people will control the variable that can be controlled because of the actual visibility. The city of Boca do Acre, heart of the Amazon rainforest, 
From there comes a big part of the Brazil's nuts consumed in the urban areas. There is a product that arrives at our tables only because of the hard work of the extractive workers. The documentary Castanhal, produced by Brazil de Fato journalists, in partnership with the NGO Papel Social, went to the forest to show who are these workers. The main idea was to shed light on the productive chain. Who are those Brazil nuts extractive workers in the Amazon and Acre states? Also, we wanted to shed light on the work conditions issue, on dignified life, on the salary issue, or any other human rights violation existing in the productive chain. Castanhal was recorded in 2019. At all, the staff lived for 40 days in the forest, facing many complicated situations. There wasn't much preparation. The solution was to walk into the forest and know people at the same time. É, só dá para isso mesmo, para sobreviver, né? Não tem como é ganhar nada, ter alguma coisa. Porque não dá. Só dá para sobreviver mesmo e, e pronto. Só mesmo por como se bebe, né? They crash nuts all day long, a really hard work. The worst is that after caching the nuts, they carry 80, 90 kilos on their back while walking between sticks, going up and down hills. So it's very exhausting work, physically and mentally. An effort that is unvalued. Extractive workers face low payments, indebtedness and a lack of public policies to organize the production chain. And the advancement of deforestation put at risk the very activity of collecting Brazil nuts. Together with them, we walked through the forest observing it, observing their daily life. They told us that the forest stations had reached the boundaries and was getting so close to their properties that they don't know if it will be possible to collect Brazil nuts next year because they're being threatened. To keep the forest standing and to guarantee decent working conditions are essential to have an abundant and sustainable product. It goes beyond. That's the only way to preserve a way of life that covers generations and which is intimately connected with the rhythm of the forest. The forest imposes conditions we can't ignore. From a place to another, it's fundamental to respect the time the river current imposes on you. It's possible to be under rain for three, four or five days with no stop. When it happens, you have to stay there, be part of it. And now it's time for Brazilianese. Today's recipe is a delicious carbonara pasta, but without bacon. It's just butter, eggs and cheese. Come with me to learn the secrets of this sauce that is full of booby traps. To make carbonara without bacon, you'll need dry pasta noodles, as spaghetti, eggs, butter, the white part of green onions, salt, grated cheese, black pepper and, if you like, you can add the green part of the green onions to finish. Boil the water with coarse salt to cook the pasta noodles. Then, you're gonna cook the pasta noodles following the indication on the package to prevent them to be mushy. Use a frying pan to melt the butter. Then, you're gonna braise the white part of the green onion on the butter. The order of factors does change the final result of carbonara. First, you add the fat, which in our case will be butter. Then, add the pasta noodles and black pepper. Pour a ladle of the cooking water and mix well. Let it heat up. Then, turn off the burner, add the beaten egg and mix very quickly. Finally, add the grated cheese. It will stick to the pasta noodles because of the creamy egg sauce. If you don't do it following this order, it won't work. One of the main secrets of carbonara is agility. After you have added the beaten egg with the burner turned off, mix it very quickly so that the egg involves the pasta noodles and cooks in the residual heat, making a beautiful creamy sauce. And so, did you learn the tricks to make a carbonara at your home? If you like the show, so hit the like button and share with your friends. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications. We will see you next week.